There's no home screen replacement on Android quite as popular and probably as revered as Nova Launcher. It's a staple, a stalwart of customization, but it has received its biggest update in recent years, courtesy of the Nova Launcher 7 beta, so we've gone hands on to see just what's new. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Without delving too much into the underlying reasons why, effectively this is a complete from the ground up rewrite of the biggest and most popular Android launcher on the Google Play Store. This brings with it a mountain of fixes for issues that were the result of this older core build. There is also plenty of important new tweaks and additions for the true tinker out there. So what's new with Nova Launcher 7 then? Well, arguably the biggest changes to Nova Launcher are undoubtedly the way it feels. By that we don't mean within your own UI, but there are a number of new settings and a good amount of these you'll instantly notice if you are a veteran of the theming app. Nova couldn't be called inhibiting or lacking in options, but thanks to this complete overhaul, things may get even more in depth as future updates arrive. Things do feel much smoother and sleeker than older Nova builds. I personally wouldn't say that Nova feels slow or janky most of the time, but things do feel a heck of a lot faster in a way that is hard to quantify, at least until you've tried this launcher launcher for yourself. Unfortunately, it's worth noting that there are some temporary removals in Nova Launcher 7, at least in a few certain beta builds out there. Make sure you're running the Nova Launcher 7.0.10 on newer builds, otherwise you'll lose the option to utilize a horizontal app draw layout. It's likely not a problem, but it is something we thought we'd note. When you want to place widgets in your device home screen, they are now much easier to find within a brand new quick access window. Long pressing a home screen gap, then swiping down, will load up all of the widgets that you can place right there across all of your device pages. It removes the need for tapping into the dedicated widget panel and streamlines the entire process. It actually has us wondering why no other launcher has done this yet before. There's also a new search section which has been added within Nova Launcher 7 settings that allows you to add or change the default search provider when using the inbuilt Nova search widgets. You can add third party search clients such as DuckDuckGo or even force searches of the Google Play Store directly. I think this is probably one of the killer additions, but it is a little buggy in its current state. The limits are almost endless though, so long as you put in the correct URL queries, allowing you to set a default search system option for almost everywhere out there. I'm not entirely sure if this is a result of that new search section, but there are now fewer persistent search bar logo styles for you to choose between within Nova Launcher 7. We're sure this could change with future app updates, but at least for now, you can only choose from three icons or any favicons that are pulled from search providers or applications you've added. For the true tinkerer, this might be a little bit disappointing, but you can always use a third party widget maker to replicate this setup. One huge benefit for those running Android 10 or newer is that this Nova Launcher 7 beta build plays nicely with gesture navigation, something that hasn't always been the most fun experience, at least for quite a while now. If you prefer on-screen navigation buttons, this is not an issue, but with more devices now shipping with gestures as the native navigation method, it's important for Nova to fully support them correctly across the board. Enhanced folder icons and layouts have now joined this latest build as you have even more tweaks at your fingertips. The newest is that of the radial folder icon layout. This simply curls app icons around a circular shape and then animates a minor spin when tapping to expand said app folders. It's pretty neat, but not particularly groundbreaking. With more folder icon options, you're also afforded even more pop-up menu options with Nova Launcher 7. You can toggle more options when you long press and hold an app icon with the new ability to actually save the APK file to your local storage, if say you wanted to share the app with someone at a later date. Nova Launcher 7 also has a toggle that now lets you remove haptic feedback when fully expanding the notification shade. Alternatively, you can add haptic feedback when expanding quick toggle sections should you wish to do so if your device doesn't support it out of the box. So while of course that isn't comprehensive by any stretch of their imagination, all of this just happens to be the very tip of the iceberg in many ways, as new features are likely to be added as the beta phase expands over the coming weeks and potentially months. Most of the biggest changes are still under the hood and not user facing and should enhance the overall Nova experience day to day. So some of you out there are probably wondering where can I get Nova Launcher 7? Well, at the moment it's still in beta and it isn't yet available on the Google Play Store, but it is being distributed by the official Nova Discord server. 
you need to sign up over on Discord and then you can gain access to the APK file, which you are then able to sideload on your device with further updates available every so often. But on top of that, we are aware that all of the new features with this full Launcher 3 rebuild should be available in the full version of Nova Launcher 7 in the coming months. Heck, you can even suggest features to the developers via the official Discord server if you do want to see some extra tweaks and additions to your favorite Android launcher. Nova Launcher sure is one of the most popular, but there are literally thousands of custom launchers available for Android on the Play Store, plus tons of pre-installed options that come as part of each OEM device out there. We want to know, are you going to try this new build of Nova or do you have a different favorite launcher entirely? Be sure to let us know down in the comment section below what you think. But until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.